did you just hear being on the radio? Yes, we on the, we all is on the way. Then everybody going, to, then you, you flying to get there, running through traffic. I don't, God know what to get there. Then all of a sudden you get to the scene and Ben say, stop coming in. Stop coming in here. They are picking us off. And then you hear the city going, I think Terry's down. That ain't good. No, Scott hit, now somebody ran through a house. No, they hit somebody else in the hand. And you can hear the sound. And then they get in and they call Farrah family before this get out. So Farrah had already sold her house and moved home. So I got to call Granny phone. Now I work homicide, so I have to tell a lie because I could hear the sound on his radio. I know what he's shooting and it high power. And I'm thinking, she can't be here. And I wasn't gonna call her phone because I don't want her moving. Again, to get another shot, I, I was just said, play, pretend like you did. <laughs> Take the one shot and, and just lay there. Not knowing finally that, <laughs> that he shot again to assassinate her. <laughs> and so I'm calling um, Katie's phone. She got a conference. And I'm calling Granny House. I'm calling, calling the, um, um, one of the cousins who finally got to the house. But I know April going to be on Facebook. <laughs> I know she's going to be on Facebook. But April calls her sister. She makes a call. And she say, call my mama. That's what she said. I'm a shot. Call my mama. But see, doing these workouts, when I say fate and destiny, see, Farrah, when we made an oath, y'all, I promise you we made an oath, and we would take y'all no matter what, not one step back. With, and she said it. She was getting out the truck, <laughs> doing all this time. <laughs> and, and they were worried. I, something had to be going on because she got out the truck, and she said, come on, talk about this, this workout. She said, I said, I said, come on, all right, we can work out. She said, I had my family fussing. They, don't, they talking about be careful. They don't want me in law them. They worry about me. Something happened to me, me dying or something happened to me. I don't care. I told them I got a job to do, and I'm going to do my job. That's why I told him on October 3rd she was going to do her job, not one step back. Nothing will change that day, <laughs> y'all. All y'all heroes. Every one of the dispatchers had to hear us. We family. You got to think about the dispatchers hearing us calling the names that they know and speak to every day. The other first responders, they come to get us off the ground. We couldn't get on the ground. Hollis standing at the wall. They telling us to stop. Y'all get down. Ben said this man is picking us off. And it, ain't, it wasn't even close. It's 300, 400 yards. He's picking us off with nothing. I'm running to the trunk trying to find my rifle. It, it ain't even in the car. So it was chaotic that day. A chaotic day. Then you're talking about visiting everybody at the hospital. You're going to see Sarah. Going to check on Farrah. Going to see a real. Real had to be on some good medicine too because she wanted me to see her leg. Want me to look at this injury. Have you seen my pictures of my leg? And thank God she even survived that, y'all. They, they say she wouldn't even have a leg. Sarah wasn't going to make it. Farrell probably wasn't going to make it. Terrence was already gone. I couldn't even get over the part that Terrence was gone. Terrence was an investigator, so I used Terrence when I was in the city. He was my connection in the city. I say I'm the greatest investigator in the world because I had other people helping me. <laughs> but Terrence would give me all my information from the city. So <laughs> I, I, I would always get him. We ride. He, he was my connect guy. He played football for the Golden Bears. He was bad tied in, too. He was a good athlete. Yeah. <laughs> so Terrence, so this day was going to happen from day one, even from every last – God knew y'all was going to be there. I told Farrah I was going to be there, but I knew I wasn't going to be there because Farrah did the search one too late. I want to do math early in the morning. I was not going to be there. Everybody that was there was there for a reason. That's why I don't hold my head down. They, he, made them, he made all of them martyrs. I was Farrah escort officer, and I promise you, when we got in the room and we had to get a debrief and thank God for the, the debriefs we had here, they said, me and the captain said, Florence County, and they said, y'all don't have to tell y'all story. The whole world know y'all. The whole entire world knew Florence because of that incident. He knew y'all were heroes. They looked up to us. The stuff that happened, I was told Fair, Katie, you're going to see all the great things they did. Stuff Terrence did. He coached, he coached kids. He, the great stuff, people will always remember. Long after we are dust, they remember them. I told legacy. So when Farrah, when that sperm hit the egg, when Farrah, when she was born, she was already on the clock. When Fred hit Fred, he was already on the clock. Fred started off good. I always tell people they're not how you start in life, how you finish. At the end of the day, what you want your legacy to be when you lay down? Do you want people to lie over you, have to make up stories? I tell you how great you were. It's not how you start, how you, how you finish. But Farrah was born, I promise you, everything she did led up to that day. Protecting kids. She had love, she cherished kids. Fred lusted over kids. There was a difference. Some way he went wrong. He served this great country. But some way he went wrong. He destroyed his legacy. But he created great legacy with all y'all. Yana, no matter what the sentence you give him, he won't be able to do it. And we know that because of his age. But I ask he do the best he can. And I pray he live forever. Thank you, sir.